So in this problem, we're told to find the most general antiderivative of the function. We're given the function f of x equals 2 over 3 plus 3 over 4x squared minus 4 over 5x cubed. So let's just start off by writing our function. So we have f of x equals 2 over 3 plus 3 over 4x squared minus 4 over 5x cubed. So we're trying to find capital f of x, which is basically just the antiderivative of this. So let's go ahead and start with our first number. So we have 2 over 3. And so whenever we have a constant and we're trying to find the antiderivative of it, we're just going to uh, put our variable that we're trying to find the antiderivative of, which in this case is just x. So it's just going to become 2 over 3x. So we have a constant, just put x after it. And then so now we need to find the derivative of 3 over 4 times x squared, which is basically just 3 or antiderivative. So we're just trying to find 3 over 4 uh, times x squared. So we got to do is find the antiderivative of x squared and then just multiply it by 3 over 4. So x squared, if we want to find the antiderivative of it, we just add 1 to our exponent. So it's going to become x cubed, and then we divide by our new exponent, so 3. So antiderivative of x squared is x to the 3 over 3, and we're multiplying it by 3 over 4. So it's going to be 3 over 4 times x cubed over 3, which becomes 3x cubed over 3 times 4 is 12. Then we can simplify 3 over 12 to 1 over 4. So it's going to become 1 over 4x cubed. So let me erase what we have and then I'll rewrite it up here. So plus 1 over 4x cubed. And now we need to find the antiderivative of this. So minus 4 over 5 times x cubed. So it's just minus 4 over 5 times the antiderivative of x cubed. So what we want to do is add 1 to our exponent. So it's going to be x to the 4th, and then we divide by our new exponent, so 4. And we're multiplying it by minus 4 over 5. So it's minus 4 over 5 times x to the 4th over 4, which is, going to be kind of, which is going to become minus x to the 4th over 20. And we can simplify this to equal minus 1 over 5 uh, x to the 4th. So let's write that up here, minus 1 over 5 x to the 4th. Then whenever you take the antiderivative of a function, what you always have to do is add c at the end. So our final answer for this question is going to become 2 over 3x plus 1 over 4x cubed minus 1 over 5x to the 4 plus c.